So today we, we are here with our live setup and I'm sure most of the songs you do know. So join us, right? Join us. We have one yes. People next to you are not singing, pinch them. Thank you. 
Okay, very, very, we get to the Vasan to sing, but I think today, since this is his training ground, so Vasan and Val and I are, are black belts, they're sensais, and thanks to the temple, they allow us here to run our karate school every Tuesdays in this temple. So if you don't know about it, please take advantage of it. Every Tuesday we have karate training here. Yeah? If you have kids, it is a good spot to get them involved. Don't worry about the cost. Costs are very, very minimal. In fact, you don't have to pay if you don't want to. But please take advantage of this temple, this holy ground that we provide such training for you guys. But today, we're going to get the sensei to sing.
Thank you so much. But you have more to
Jezebel, Hampa. Hampa, sing that song with us. It is okay, everybody already saw you. <laughs> computer and they'll put it here in our head and see what happens. Come on. Vetti vel Murganikke! Vira vel Murganikke! Vira vel Murganikke! Sinatavar mutikkom, pagaitavar kodikkom, tegotavar oyakkom, inamagar, siripavanamakkom, padipavatamakkom, teropogan erupendra, arivom yamana.
thank you to our singers, very uh, good vibration, very good energy. Let's give another round of applause. Dear people, we now have to revert to our formality where we ask yes and to come and address you and thereafter we'll do uh, again to see you and then we'll conclude with our another video. She's local but you can give an applause as well. <laughs> Sorry, my phone is recording the whole thing, so I need your phone. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Vanakam, Namaste, Namaskaram, and good evening to one and all. Salutations to God in all form, especially to Lord Muruga. On behalf of Guru Samandan Sargesa and the management committee of SSK, we'd like to welcome you and your family to day number three of the Chitraparavam Kavani Festival. Firstly, to our Guru, Guru Samandan, thank you for your daily inspirations and teachings during conducting of our Obium prayer. We truly appreciate that. Secondly, I would like to thank our OBRs or our sponsors for today's function, which is the family of Mr. Anesh and Mrs. Anita Singh. <laughs> Anesh, thanks for cleaning the coconut so well. <laughs> Anesh and Anita are not strangers to our family. I say our family, our Jepo family. They have been here for a very long time, and I hope Lord Murga will continue to bless you for always, and thank you for your support always. Next, I would like to thank, and their daughter Caressa, sorry. Um, next, I would like to thank our newcomer music group, Versatile, with a Y. is Vasikan and Sue Govinda and their boys, the family. Um, oh, and now we just heard that they're not just artists but also martial artists. So if anybody is interested, please see them after the show. But uh, yeah, we need to give them a very big hand. Thank you so much for bringing that vibration. We, we love it. It's, it's amazing. Thank you so much for, for today. And I hope this is just the first the start of, of your many events at SSK. Thank you. Then thank you for our, to our committee members, as always, for, pro, for preparing and putting together our daily opiums. So let's talk a little bit about Kavdi 2024. This year, we have a 14-day festival. And... Uh, with, well, basically, Kavani is on the 27th of, of April, and that's the Saturday at Jagru School Grounds. The Paravam Kavani is on Tuesday, the 23rd of April, and that is the starting at 7.30. The daily prayer will continue for the next 14 days, and that is sponsored by our OBIAs, who, for, who we are really, really appreciative um, to for, for their daily OBIAs. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the flowers. We are, we, you can place your order with your Kavadi at the admin desk where Avanti is sitting. As everybody knows Avanti. Um, please place your orders as early as you can. The, you can place your Kavadi, your, your bookings at, at this time, any time from, from the 14th actually, you could have placed your orders. Um, Kavadis can be taken home and decorated, please, and it must be returned according to, well, let me just tell you that, actually. The, you must pay and collect your cavity any day from the 14th of April until the 22nd of April. You will be issued with a tag, which you will place on your cavities, and then you will return it back to the temple. The devotees carry cavity on Tuesday, the 23rd of April. The cavities must be delivered back to the temple on the 22nd of April between 1 and 7. Devotees carrying Kavadi on Saturday, the 27th of April. 
the, those, te- those properties must be delivered back on Friday the 26th of April between 2 and 6 p.m. Property bookings and flowers can be done at the admin table, like I said. And flowers for the part of Uncavity can be made available or will be made available from Sunday or Monday this, this week, this coming week. Okay. Um, this year, I would also like to encourage devotees to please give us a hand with the cleaning of their cavities after you have, ca- after you have carried your cavity. So this is something new to our temple. We are, we are trying to, to push this initiative, but we, normally you would carry your cavity and then place your cavity and probably have lunch and most people would leave and we would clean the cavities, but I'm trying to get this initiative going. It is quite new, but if you can give us a hand on undecorating your cavity, please do as well. It will really give us a little bit of help this year. Thank you so much. Uh, devotees, thank you for your patience and attention this evening. And please enjoy the music and then stay for supper afterwards. Thank you. Okay, you're going to see me for a little bit longer. Um, I, I don't have anyone to do a talk tonight, which is what I want to also say. If there are any youngsters or adults even that would like to approach me to give a talk, I don't know if you know, but um, Professor K.G. Mudli has a few discourses that he has that he'd like for the young generation to deliver during these audience. Please approach me and, or Avanti at the desk and give your names in and I'll, I'll give you the discourses. You don't have to write the speeches, you just have to deliver them. You can get them days in advance and you can just learn them if you, if you, if you can. If you, if you get weak in the knees on that day, I'll do it for you, but at least try. Okay, okay so today I want to talk about... Bear with me. Flag hoisting. Okay. So no one really spoke about the flag hoisting festival. Well, the flag hoisting that we did the other day. But I just thought we'll go through it and and explain why we did and what we did, what we did. So although Kavadi may be offered to Murga on any day of the year, we usually do this in well, there are three days. Uh, there are three days of of. Um, let me explain that again. Although Kavadi may be offered to Lord Muruga on any day, it is usually done on three days in a year. The three days are Paravam days in the Tamil months of Thai, Pangani, and Sitri. By, by tradition, the flag is hoisted in front of the temple ten days after chosen Paravam day. So why is the flag hoisted? It is done to mark the start of the preparation for the Kavadi festival. So the devotees of that temple have raised the flag, and this means they must engage in the daily acts of purification through discipline and prayer. The discipline involves abstinence, fasting, and penance. For the general public, the flag means that there's a major festival happening at the temple. However, the temple, how is the temple preparing for this occasion? So us as a temple, we prepare the temple by physically cleaning and having ceremonial rites. So the physical cleaning, which we have done in the last few weeks, was scrubbing, washing, the dry routine of, of the floors, the brassware, all the movable items. You saw that the members were quite busy. The ceremonial cleaning of the temple is called the Abhishekam. So we use water, milk, rose water, sour milk, and water containing cleaning powders, such as turmeric. And through the Abhishekam, the sacred mantras are chanted by the officiating priest. And the Abhishekam is then followed by the Alangaram, which is the draping of the murtis with colored cloth. The Abhishekam is then followed by the flower offering, which is called the Mala Arjune, to the murtis. The next ceremonial cleaning is the, the, the fire ceremony, which is known as the Havan. If this is done inside the temple, it also purifies the air. Throughout the ceremony, the, the priest chants the mantras, which is what Guru does, and he explains this to us, while the de- devotees offer samagari, or the ghee dipped with, uh, with the mango twigs. The fire ceremony then ends the, the ceremony. Next, the Abhishekam is done for the flagpole. The flagpole is then lifted 
or we, we attach the, the cloth to the flagpole. Devotees then chant, which means salutation to the Lord Murga, which is the veil of victory. The flag is then secured at the top of the, fall, of the pole, and then it is followed by the Alangaram, which is, the Alangaram I said was the purification, oh, beautification, and the Mala Achille, where we put the flowers on, on the flag, and then the, the, the book of the the offering after that, yes. Do believe I love it, Guru says. Why does the flag have the picture of the rooster? Before the arrival of the alarm clock, the, the rooster used to crow to wake us all up. So the rooster on the, on the temple flag reminds the devotees to wake up in the religious sense. This means that the devotees must become aware of the power of God. The mythological reason for the rooster is given in the Skanda Purana. The lord of the celest celestial army, known as Siena the Bali, Lord Murga had to subdue the Asuras who were making life intolerable for the humans and celestials. The leader of the Asura, which is Surapadman, after the five days of war, Surapadman was still undefeated. This was because he was able to change form whenever confronted by Lord Murga. On the sixth day, he changed into a tree. Lord Murga used his veil to split this tree in two. One part of the tree changed into a rooster, the other changed into a peacock. The rooster in the flag of Lord Murga and the peacock is his vaganam, which is his vehicle. This is a story that has a great message. It tells us that we do not destroy our enemies, but rather change them into useful people. In general, raising a flag means that it means victory, basically. So, uh, well, it means, so example of this is when Edmund Hillary reached the top of Mount Everest. He planted the flag of England. In our lives, we may have small problems which seem like mountains. Like Hillary, we climb the mountains of our problems, and many of us need help to do this. So we need the power of God. This comes through the unconditional surrender to God. And we may, and may the hoisting of the Sela Kuli, which is the rooster flag, strengthen our faith in Lord Murga. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mika Nandri to Dr. A. Santapale for not only the discord but playing a dual role, being the director of ceremonies and being the talk. People, especially the parents, we spoke yesterday, Feriyar and I, Professor KG and I, about encouraging our children. Maybe you should take the initiative, take a copy from Yesenta, we can even WhatsApp it to your phone, go through it, don't even have to buy it, come here, stand and read. Practice is what makes perfect. If you ask the singers, when they got up one morning and they sang, no. They have to practice to get to where they are today. So therefore, why don't you as adults, Take a copy, bring your child, make the child stand next to you and read that copy. Because today, the family, the Tudia Bharat family, I spoke to them, the little boy Aryan said he will do the talk on Sunday and we're going to watch that this week. So please, instead of us talking, talking all the time and hearing the same voice, we like to listen to other voices as well. So with that, we can Andre for your attendance today. It's nice to see this crowd on a weekday. Please keep going. Tomorrow again at 17.30, we will be commencing. You know, when Guru says sharp, it's ultra sharp and not one second late. So therefore, we want to see you. I know it's work time, but you can join us later, it doesn't matter. But you will be able to do it. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Guru. But to the young people here, let me tell you something. I'm not from the Tamil faith originally. I'm a Muslim girl married to a Tamil boy. Tamil boy is a hot <laughs> But it so happened, I, see, I saw a lot of young people here. The young boy there, the young boy there. Do you all know who Muruga I had to go and learn about who Muruga was. Muruga was born a warrior. He was born a warrior. He was born a fighter. And you all know who gave him a weapon? It's his mother. His mother gave him the weapon. So, on Tuesdays, and it so happened, my sons are both named after Muruga. 
Vasan and Valen, Valen is Muruga's names. And they are also warriors, but with a lot of um, discipline. So you all are invited on a Tuesday afternoon, all the kids here, the ladies as well, if you have 40 husbands like me, <laughs> please come and join the class. It is free of charge, but for those who want to give Vasan a donation, please come and be like Muruga. You are in his yard and you are going to learn to fight just like him with discipline. All right? So read about, read about Muruga. He is not just someone you see in the statue looking very beautiful. He is one of the most beautiful deities, but he is a fighter. All right? So young people, one, two, three students we got. All right? Tuesday, same time, temple time. Also to add that uh, Guru, it is such a pleasure to be around you. I don't know, there's something about you that we love so much. Uh, ah, we see you very, very seldom, but we love seeing you. Uh, plus, you are not here. I love that too. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, very rarely we get to say, uh, to do programs like this, but uh, I want to acknowledge my very good friend, Leon Mack, Ram Sami, and Kesipa. They're from this area. Yeah? I think Basil is here. Uh, I'm lucky that I have so many good friends that support us and back us up. And I think with that kind of support, we get further and learn more. So, uh, Leon is the one that actually helped us put this uh, Klanti school together. So, if you don't contact us, you contact him. He's our main man here. Please bring the kids. We want to get the children out of drugs, out of alcohol. They don't have the freedom like we had when we could walk freely on the road like when we were kids. So, bring them here. Don't let them get stuck on YouTube. I want to see you here on Tuesday. Right. The song I'm going to do, my sons are hardened love. Devotees, I don't want to disturb them when they're singing. When we're done with the Divatanaya, once I hypnotize you to get up, please come and stand here to do the final Divaradhani, but singing will continue. Thank you. Our sons, you can see they are ardent love, Namashivaya devotees, so I like my uh, Indian kind of songs. But since you're so good in giving chorus, I'm sure you're going to sing with me. Kapoor Gaur Karuna Vazar Sansar Sair Ujjigin
cheiro assim? É cheiro. É cheiro. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my third son. É cheiro. Well, Jack, how about this? Give me a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do our final song. Thank you once again to the officials of this Divine Temple for having us here this evening. You can definitely you have an impress on your WhatsApp group and send it to everyone on the local school. Thank you. Let's say thank you to the officials for allowing us here. Yeah, say thank you. That's the problem, you see? You see, ladies and gentlemen, the problem I have? Don't listen. Oh! <laughs>